Hey there folks. So you want to write a novel? Well I'm going to tell you how to get it done, how to do it quickly, and how to have fun doing it without writer's block. Stay tuned. <music> All right, here we go. Before we get started, be sure to uh, subscribe to my channel. Give it a thumbs up if you like the video at the end. And be sure to check out my website, jwcollinsauthor.com, where I have uh, access to all my books you can purchase. And there's a lot of uh, cool stuff you can download for free as well if you sign up to my email list. And check me out on Facebook and Twitter, of course, all that cool stuff. All right, here we go. The most important thing before you start writing your novel is to have an idea for one in your head. Now I'm assuming that you probably do. You've got an idea, you've got a plot idea, you've got characters maybe in mind. So when you start with that, the first thing you have to do is get the opening line in your head. I don't mean written down on paper. Get that opening line in your head. What is the opening line that's going to grab everybody? And from there, you're basically going to have an idea of where you want your character to be, what the situation is going to be, uh, whether they're in peril right off the bat or you're just describing uh, the, uh, the circumstances where, they are, where they're at, their geography, whatever the way you start it. But have that first line in your head, ready to go, before you write anything down. And basically you've got to have a rough idea as to where you want your characters to be in the first few chapters. You just, just have an idea of the plot. You don't have to have secondary characters uh, written, written down or you don't have to have them even in your head. Just as long as you have an idea of, of what the plot is going to be, where you want your character or characters to be uh, in, in the first few chapters, kind of where you want to take them. From there, you want to have an idea, again, not necessary to write down uh, your plot suggestions and that, if you, if you do, that's fine, but it's not necessary. Just have an idea in your head where you want your character to be roughly in the middle of the book. In the middle of the book, are they going to be in peril? Are they going to be in a, 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 a difficult situation? Which ideally is what you want. You want to have conflict, of course. But in the middle of your book, you've got to have an idea as to where you want your characters to be. And then at the end of the book, before, again, all this has got to be in your mind before you write that first word, you want to have the ending of your book, right down to the last line. What's the last line going to be? And again, I can't stress this enough. This will avoid writer's block if you do these three steps. If you have your first line written down that you know exactly what you want to say, when you get that in your head and you start your novel, start with that first line, the opening line that's going to grab everybody. And then a rough idea where you want your character to be in the middle of the book, and then the ending. You have to know how it's going to end and, and have that last line ready to go. Write that down somewhere as, as, a, as, a, as the last line you want to have in your book. Once you have all those three steps, your book will flow. You will not have writer's block. You're always going from one point to the next. It will flow beautifully, as long as you have the opening line, rough idea where you want to go in the middle of the book, and the ending line. Everything will fall into place. Your, your secondary, third characters, fourth characters, uh, everything, the plot, everything will tie in perfectly once you have those three steps, basically. Get your first line, have an idea what you want in the middle of the book, 
and have the ending line ready to go. Have your ending planned. Know where you want your ending to be. This will stop writer's block. This will prevent writer's block. Uh, I'm not saying that you might have to think about you know, certain lines that you want to write down. I, I do the same thing sometimes. I'll sit in front of that typewriter there for 20 minutes. But it's not, again, because I'm, I'm suffering from writer's block. It's only how do I want to express this sentence? How do, how do I want to say this is all. I'm just working on how to phrase a sentence. I, I know exactly what I want to say, you know, um, as far as the story goes and, and, and roughly what I want to say as far as the conversation goes, but I just want to phrase it properly. I'm not the type of person as well, too, that uh, just puts a lot of stuff down uh, and then goes back expecting to do five rewrites. I, I don't do that. I, I wait until I have exactly what I want to say down and I write it down and when it comes to putting it uh, on WordPad to send away to the editors, I will rarely change a word in the whole book of 270 pages. I will rarely change a word. Um, but that, that's my style. And, but I do think that that comes from having the format that I'm talking about here. Have your first line in your head, exactly how you want it to open up. Have an idea in the middle where you want your characters to be and know what that last line is going to be and how your book's going to end. Okay, those are the three most important things. How to get it done quickly? Here's the thing. Can you write, can you find time to write two pages a day? If you can just do two, minimum two pages a day, you'll have a novel in four months done. Two pages a day, that's 60 pages, that's 60 pages a month. So in four months, you got a 200 and what is it, 240 page novel in four months, done. Is that right? Yeah, that's right. That's my tip. That's the way you write a novel. That's the way you get her done quick. That's the way you get it done without writer's block. I hope this video helps. If you have any comments or any other questions on it, please uh, make a comment below. I will answer them as best I can. And stay tuned for my next video, which will probably be guitar tips, because I do alternate videos back and forth between writing tips and guitar tips. And be sure to check out my work, again, at jwcollinsauthor.com. And until next time, have the best day you can.